Good evening, I'm Harry from Burton and today we're in the uh, middle of the English Channel. It's a bit different for once. We've just taken uh, Cochise over to Guernsey uh, to take her out of IPR and bring her back so we can put her in our customs warehouse. And today we're going to show you around Cochise, the FPV 78 number one. Enjoy. Thanks, Harry. This is Sue Grant, and I'm going to do the tour. As you can see, it's a glorious morning in the middle of the channel for FPB 78-1 Akoshis. As uh, Harry mentioned, she is coming back into customs warehousing. She has had a large refit at Birth and Boat Company, and she has now exported. She was on inward processing relief and she will import in customs warehousing. She is European VAT paid, but not VAT paid in the UK, which of course is no longer part of Europe. Just having a look at the foredeck, Manson anchor, you see the setup at the front. She's got Fleur camera, high staunchions, safe deck and access to the Ford Lazarette. The windows are incredibly heavily made. They are of HP ML GG glass. And now we're on the aft deck. Big space. She's got an AB A16 rib with a 60 horsepower outboard. And we're just going to pop down onto the swim step. All of the stanchions there have just been redone. And also, she's got this uh, drop down swimming platform, just like on her bigger sister, FPB 97 Iceberg. As you can see, she's got a covered aft deck and there's a cassette for storage of all sorts of stuff, including passerelle, fishing rods and bits and pieces. The dinghy is deployed using the booms, which has a dual arrangement, very easy to do with one person. And you've got storage on this inboard side emergency steering and now we're going to have a look at the great room a feature of all FPBs and massively impressive on the 78 she's got these fabulous Cardian laminate floors throughout one of the many things that was done in her huge refit to fit her for a round the world passage was a total review of all of her electronics. So they are all completely up to date. She's running on Maritron N2K. And she has screens everywhere. The main backbone is uh, Furuno. You see this new table. This is limed oak and it moves so that you can get in and out of it and it's thoroughly clever. She's got a couple of bucket chairs and this screen here also flips up and can be a TV as you wish if you get bored with this incredible view. Great galley. As with all FPBs, extraordinary amount of refrigeration. We'll have a look in one of the fridges. So she really does have uh, food endurance. There's a dishwasher, microwave, fan-assisted oven, induction hob, loads and loads of storage. One of the things that I particularly love about Cochise, which of course was built for Stephen Lind Dashu, is all of the joinery is in high gloss white ore grip. Fantastic, very durable, and as the finish is perfect, it looks amazing. 
we've got an upper control station here. All of these electrics have been reviewed in the refit. They've all been re-categorized. She's obviously got LED throughout. And you can't hear, but if you're on board, there is virtually no noise. She is incredibly quiet. And then we're going to go down and have a look at the lower deck. She's got four watertight bulkheads. Sorry, five. And this is a media center, very useful, or office, depending on your wish. We're going to go to the sharp end to start with. This is the first of the big jobs that was done. This cabin is new. It's got two generous upper and lower berths and a heads compartment, all executed in exactly the same style as the rest of the yacht. Taken from the Ford Lazarette, which is still absolutely enormous. Um, you see all of the spares. You see that uh, she has got a sonar to end all sonars which is fantastic for working at high latitude and knowing what's going on in the seabed. And in this cabin, the washer dryer or washing machine and dryer machine have been relocated here. So this now provides a fourth guest cabin in addition to the owner's cabin and is a really useful space. Lovely heads compartment with shower, all in this lovely high gloss. So this is brand new. And you've got storage on your left. And then we're gonna go into the owner's cabin. One of the lovely things about Cochise is that all the art which is included in the sale was actually photographed by Steve Dashu and it's very unusual. There's a picture of uh, Windhorse FPB 83, uh, the first of the fleet. This owner has had this lovely cabin upgraded to have more lockers and better lighting and so on. A uh, basin just by her and then um, heads compartment here. All the surfaces are ultra suede and there have been some upgrades in this refit. And here is a proper sit down, most excellent shower arrangement. Doesn't that look fantastic? These two doors can be completely opened or shut and it gives a real feeling of space when the double doors are opened. And then we're going to walk aft. And there are two double guest cabins here. This is the port guest cabin. Very comfortable, lots of storage, very airy. Not many people know that Steve Dashu designed and campaigned multi-hulls many years ago. Again, separated shower stall, which is large. Harry doing his thing. And then we'll have a look at the, just get out of the door. Right door. And this is a pump room. All very well labelled. Beautifully sorted out. All systems have been fully serviced and upgraded. Her current captain was with the Dashus. He knows her better than anyone. Now this cabin, you can't see anything, but a lot of work has happened here. Cochise has now a full set of new lithium-ion batteries. 
their MG Energy HDs. The solar controllers have been altered, the battery chargers have been upgraded, and that was a very big job to upgrade the whole yacht. And now we go into the engine room. As with most FPBs, she's running on Deers. She's got twin 231 horsepower. They can be upgraded to M3 330. It's just an electronic upgrade, it's no big deal. Fantastic sound insulation throughout. She's got her Onan generator, which is a 17, you can just see on the right. In here is remarkably quiet water maker. Firefighting. This is a yacht that on her maiden voyage went from Fiji to Panama. She's got a range with an allowance for um, security of over 6,000 nautical miles of 10 and a half knots. Now, this executive lounge was a workshop, but now this is another big job. Say hello to Travis, the captain, in the new crew mess, which has been executed to a massively high standard. And as you can see, there's a seating area, small galley, large double bed, she's got entertainment. This is access onto the aft deck when you're at sea. The boat's running on Apple. There's a microwave here and all in exactly the same style and to the same standard as the rest of Cochise. This flips out so there's plenty of room if you're working or, or, you know, relaxing or having supper. And there's a new heads compartment here as well with a shower, which is totally self-contained for the crew. There it is. Looks amazing. And then Travis is going to give a hand. And there we are out onto the swim step really lovely for the crew to have a beach club and look at that sky isn't that something absolutely amazing remember that you have the access for the crew onto the aft deck so when the weather is really gnarly they don't have to access externally onto this step and then up we come onto this great aft deck with its barbecue with its storage all new canvas work and leather covered rails. Takes her up into the matrix, which is another massive job. Flexi teak throughout, new seating area, all new controls up here. That whole pod has been renewed. All Maritron, all Furuno all totally operational and working well. These screens were something that Steve was very keen on so that when you are passage making, you have easy access to any information that you need about the yacht, the navigation track and so on. You also, of course, have the most amazing vision throughout. Solar there, all upgraded. Another new table, little chaise long. And then we're coming into this new wet bar. So you've got an isotherm refrigerator, new isinglass set up behind so you can access to the new aft deck which we'll come to at the moment and there's a picture of Beowulf. Side access both sides and railed outside for conning. All of these rails are new 
and there are rails on all of the mullions so that moving around up here in a seaway is very safe and very straightforward. And then here is the next job. This beach club a la Cochise is all new and provides an outer seating area. Open array, as you can see, going, she's got two of them, all the antenna, all rewired, upgraded in this refit. And this is the most amazing area that has been created at Bertham this winter with seating. You probably wouldn't want to sit out on a cold December day, but if you were in the tropics or in warmer waters, wouldn't that be lovely? And what great vision. High staunchions making it very safe. Koshis is a really big subject and I feel that we're only just touching the surface of this yacht which is now prepared and ready for seven seas sailing. You choose the ocean, Koshis.